You can come have coffee with me here. Cairo Coffee Bar opens up at 7. We've already had customers trying to get in. It's a popular new spot in the neighborhood. Gabriel, tell us about Hero Coffee Bar. So Hero Coffee Bar, we have seven locations throughout Chicago. Um, we're looking to serve the best coffee here. And, uh, you know, we're looking to just be people's heroes out there. And when you say people's heroes, for me, I think, oh, you're just trying to give some people some caffeine in the morning to get them going. But it's really about building a sense of community amongst all the locations that you have. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so say, you know, we have uh, regulars who come in or we have, you know, those people who come in just one time. We have no idea what's happening to them once they leave our uh, cafes. So we want to make that cup of coffee that we make them best part of their day. You know, Gabriel, I get the sense here when I come in, there's a lot of different items on the wall. And you know, with coffee, sometimes there's an air of pretension to it, right? And so I think the same thing about like craft beer. People don't want to ask too many questions. They fear that they're going to get a, an answer, a snotty answer. That's not at all the philosophy here, right? No, no. We're all about the coffee education. You know, people can come in, they can ask um, anything under the sun. We'll explain to them what an actual macchiato is. <laughs> um, how to steam milk. We'll take the magic out of uh, making pour overs. Um, yeah, it's all about the coffee and we're happy to tell people about it. It's a relaxing environment here. I feel comfortable here. Tell us about the motif and, the, and kind of the decor you have going on here. Uh, so we wanted to keep things uh, pretty simple, pretty light. Uh, the muralist who worked here, her name is uh, Emmy. She's worked with us before and uh, all throughout Chicago. Uh, the pictures up on the walls, uh, those are from other hero locations. And uh, yeah, we just want to keep it uh, super light. Seven locations. We're here in Lakeview throughout the morning hours here today. You can see the jam placards are here. Guess what? This guy's going to be coming up here in a little bit. Jordan's going to be joining me up here. And join us as well. Come have coffee with the jam here at the 2900 block of North Sheridan, just north of Diversity. Come on out and join us. Gabriel, you're fine with us welcoming some people into the, into the, into the spot, right? Oh, bring everybody. All right. And they want to be everybody's hero. So I thought, what better way to introduce the coffee bar to the neighborhood and to all of you than to talk to one of the great nonprofits in the area, Kate McElvain, with Sit, Stay, Read. You're located just around the street, but you're all over the city. Talk about the organization. Sure. Sit, Stay, Read is celebrating its 16th year this year. We are in 17 different partner schools around the city. We're a nonprofit literacy organization. We bring volunteers with and without their dogs into Chicago public schools to help kids get better at reading. So how do dogs help kids get better at reading? How does introducing them to the picture help? Well, dogs make people feel good. Uh, and as we know, many kids struggle with reading. And so we think that when dogs are with kids while they're reading, dogs will make kids feel good about reading. So you guys go over all sorts of different grade levels in all parts of the city too, right? Absolutely, yes. We serve K to three, um, uh, as far north as Rogers Park and as far south as Altgale Gardens and everything in between. How many, uh, do, how many ways can people give back? Sure, we are always looking for volunteers. We need volunteers both with and without their dogs. In fact, more volunteers without their dogs during the regular school day. And of course, donations are always welcome to help us keep our programs running. Sitstayread.org.com? Dot .org. Dot .org, exactly. all right. right. Sitstayread.org. Kate, thanks so much for stopping on by here. Thanks so much for having me. This is awesome. And what a wonderful coffee place here, too. Guys, not only that, I know, Jordan, you're going to be coming here soon. You're going to have to try one of these. This is a special deal today. Look at this yummy pumpkin latte. And the deal is, it's the jam pumpkin latte today. It's $4.39 after taxes, basically the price of a regular latte for the same price. All right, Jordan, I know you got to hustle, man. Take Lakeshore Drive. That's going to be the best way to do it. So come on up here, Jordan, and join us. And one of the things that makes this spot so great, not only one, Jonathan, today, but two. But Jonathan, you're a professional latte artist, well, right? We'll try. We'll try. Yeah, professional, I don't know is the right <laughs> word, but we'll try. We'll go for it. Yeah. All right, what are you going to do here? What's your typical, do you have a typical one you do, your favorite one, something special? Yeah, typical, definitely something called a rosetta, Ooh. which is a simple little leaf. It's something that everyone enjoys, everyone likes for Instagram, stuff like that. But in the fall season, right? In the fall season, definitely, the yeah. The falling leaves right into our cup of our latte here. All right, let's see it. Let's try. All right. Do you feel the pressure right now? You know, for the most part, sure. <laughs> Look at that. That's impressive. Let's see if I can serve it. Oh, is that the best one you've ever done, Jonathan? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Pretty good. That's very Instagrammable. Right. Yeah. Do you do anything else? Do you, do you practice some at home? Or is this <laughs> something you like to do and like come up with like faces and different things or no? No, you know, just uh, start with a basic Rosetta. Then everyone works from their way from Rosetta to a tulip to all the way from people drawing pictures like the Taj Mahal. One day, Jonathan. One day, One indeed. Day. Yeah. You're our hero today, Hero Coffee Bar. And we're still hoping that Jordan can get here on time. Come join Jordan until 930. We're going to have a blast here all morning long. Come meet me. Come meet Jordan. And most importantly, enjoy this nice latte. It's a cold start to the day. 
I've got the cup of coffee for Jordan, and I just caught on the corner of my eye, Jordan's Uber, pull it on up. It's Jordan Cornette. He made it to Hero Coffee Bar. Take a seat, Jordan. I got a hot cup of Joe for you. You excited? Yeah, just put some alcohol in this, John. <laughs> well, you know I always do for you. I mean, this place is awesome. The vibe is great. I imagine you're excited to meet some people as they come over here. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. Felicia and Carly kicked me out of studio. I was like, John will definitely take me in. So Hero Coffee. This I'll is perfect. always take you in, Jordan. All right, so cool vibe. Get the drink. And by the way, I've already had half of mine. But the deal today is, obviously, you can meet Jordan. That's 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 priceless, right? right everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but you could also get a the jam pumpkin latte for four thirty nine. That's the price of a regular latte. I've already had mine. Have some coffee, Jordan. Relax. Cheers, my friend. The decor in here and the location is fantastic. It's awesome. It's a great yeah. spot here. We're at 2950 North Sheridan. Going to take a sip. Back to you in the studio. Meet Jordan.